Hello and welcome to the video for what is flow control, the do n node. I'm going to go ahead and create a quick example here. Basically, we're going to ask our grandma for money, but she only has so much. We can ask her three times, and then every time I click after that, nothing happens. But if we give grandma a kiss, well, she's nice to us again, and we can ask her for money three more times. We are using a do n node to do that, and here's the example. Basically, every time I click, it enters the do n node. The do n node has an enter execute wire, the n pin, which is basically how many times it will fire, and then a reset execute wire, which resets it back to the default of zero executes. On the right side, we have the counter, which is which n we are currently on, as well as the exit, which is what fires every time you are allowed to go through this node. So basically, it enters the first time, sets n to 1, exits, and then we take our money, add 1 to it, and set our current money value. Now the next time it goes through, it knows n is equal to 1, it increments n to 2, and does the same thing. Third time, increments n to 3, and gives us more money. The next time we go through, n is equal to 3, which is our maximum, so execute will not, sorry, the exit will not execute, and it will sit here and do nothing until the reset execute wire is fired. When we click our button kiss grandma, it resets it, but you'll notice the, exe the exit execute wire is not fired. All reset does is simply reset the built-in n value back to zero, and then we're allowed to enter it again and fire it off. So that's it. That's what a do n is for. It's a good way of making sure you can only do something a certain amount of times. Perhaps you want to give someone 10 pieces of chalk in their box of chalk, and once they have used up all 10 pieces, they can no longer use it again until it has been refilled.